so good with you. What do you think? Uh, oh, you know what happened? I left you in a yellow submarine on the water. And now I'm going to take you to another place underwater in an octopus's garden.
favor of this one.
jumping up and down. I used to be able to do that when I was 12. Any more kids in the audience? Oh, we're pointing over here. Oh, I see you, brother. Yeah. I feel like I'm recruiting next year's businesses. You know, when you're all lit up like this, I love it because every night I wish I had a big camera and I could take a photograph of all of you.
Well, guys, what a night it's been, right? What a night it's been. Absolutely. Mm. Well, we had a good time, didn't we? We did. Yep. And, like, just, see, again, just seeing, like, legendary musicians together on stage. Yeah. A lot of legendary musicians. Ringo Starr, uh, Colin Hayes. Mm -hmm. Who else? Edgar. Uh, Edgar Winter and uh, Steve Kim. Oh, man. The guitar player from Toto. Right. Um... The drummer, uh, Bissett, Bissonette, mm -hmm. that had played with, um, he's played with David Lee Roth, he's played with, um, I, I don't even, I can't even remember, but the fact that he played with David Lee Roth yep. is amazing, because David Lee Roth was definitely hard rock, high energy rock, mm -hmm. so he was, he's a very good drummer. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think most, most surprising to me is the fact that Ringo Starr is 83 years old. Yeah. And he took one 15-minute break. He did, yeah. In the whole show. And the rest of the time, man, he was up there either singing or playing drums and, and singing. And the fact that, you know... Or he, just playing drums. And the fact that he he had been the drummer for the Beatles, so... Yeah, yeah. I didn't quite... He's, I don't mean to cut you off, but I, I didn't really quite get it. What did he say before he left left the stage to take a break? That, and he said something funny. He said something about... He says, I'm going to go back... He says, while these, while these guys are playing, I'm going to go back to my my dressing room and have some juice. <laughs> oh, juice, right. Yeah. I could have sworn it was juice, and yeah, he did say juice. He probably did. That's probably what he did. Yeah. For real. Yeah, and there, there were funny moments during the concert. Funny thing is, a lot of those guys that have been around for a long time playing rock and roll, mm -hmm. they've they've straightened their act out, a lot of them. Now, some of them, they'll relapse every once in a while and get back into drugs and alcohol, but... A lot of them, a lot of them are straight. You know, they're clean. They they live a pretty clean life now because they know <laughs> that's a good thing. Yeah, it is a good thing. Yep. And like there was like one song that you had you 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 left to, to take a bathroom break. Act naturally. Yeah, now, I'm just a, not that, crazy about that song. So and I yeah, no. just to let you to let your viewers know, my dad does not like that song. Not crazy about it. No, it's 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 a catchy tune, but it is, yeah. I just don't. I'm not a big country fan. I mean, I like classic country, like Johnny Cash, Glenn Campbell, uh -huh. some Alan Jackson, yep. even some Clint Black. Yeah. But I don't listen to country. I can't, let's put it this way, I don't want a steady diet of country music. Yep. It's every once in a while I'll put a country song on, but it's always classic country. Yep. I'm not into the, what they call the pro country. Mm -hmm. And if any of you viewers recognized the songs that they played, well, I mean, especially those that I'm familiar with, because, like, you know, from a couple of Beatles songs, you know, from Yellow Submarine, Octopus's Garden, mm -hmm. and other songs, you know, from, you know, Down Under. Um, yep. and, uh, Men at Work. Yep. Uh, did, uh, did three really good songs from that, uh, from that band. Mm -hmm. Toto did three really good songs from that band. Uh -huh. Edgar Winter did some really good songs. The guy from uh, Average White Band, they did some, including Pick Up the Pieces, which is just an amazing song. Yes. And the drum solo was awesome and intense. Yeah, it was very, very good. And they played different, they played different, like, songs on drums, you know? From they did. We Will Rock You and one of Rush and if Y Y Z from Rush. Yeah, and if it was in the recording, I'm sure maybe you heard my dad's voice, but he tapped me on the shoulder when when I was recording the drum solo and with Rush, he tapped he tapped me by the shoulder and told me, That's Rush. So I just saw the look on your face, your eyes were wide open. Oh like, yeah. I was You're just so happy to hear that. I was, I was very happy to hear that. Yep. It seemed as how not only you know, both of us, we are Rush fans. Yeah, well I, most drummers, if not all drummers um, had great, great respect for Bill Peer. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, just because he was an innovator on the drums, he was. Yep. He was. I I would venture to say he was the most technically proficient drummer that's ever been. Yeah. Um, he's believe it or not, there was one greater than him. And it was Buddy Rich. Yes. Buddy Rich. Buddy Rich was inhuman. And Neil Peer like. Was, a, was an admirer of Buddy Rich. Yes, he was. Looked up to him. Right? He looked up to him, admired him, and 
and, and, and also obviously, said, and, but considered him to be the greatest. And obviously, Neil Peterkins, he was also a, a huge fan of Buddy Rich's. Yes, he was. And was a friend of Buddy Rich's family. Was a friend of Buddy Rich's family, never got to meet Buddy Rich. But Buddy yeah. Rich died before he ever got to know him. Yeah. But it was and a... And the fact that Neil Peart, like, at, was there, like, in the tribute concert to Buddy Rich and tried to do, like, a, a drum solo similar to Buddy Rich, you know. Yes. Yeah, he did his best, so... Um, but anyways... Also, like, if you notice at one point, I just feel like mentioning this, like... <laughs> you saw what my dad did, so... But at one point, you saw the, this, like, the snacks that me and my dad had. It was pizza rolls. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like bringing this up, because out of, like, literally... I Not long after I shot that, like... At one point, it slipped, and I didn't get to eat it, but I ate the rest of yours. Yeah, we have, we have to eat. I ate half, and yep. the other half. Uh-huh. And we got a pretzel, so... We yeah, we did, yeah. We did get a pretzel, so... And the final song that they played, uh, it was Little Help From My Friends. Yeah. Now, that was a perfect song for them to finish. Like. Perfect song, and then, but then they went into Give Peace a Chance, which oh, was an old... Yeah. Right. John Lennon and Yoko Ono song. Yep. And that's the thing, because we were talking about John Lennon earlier, the fact that, again, as of this recording, it's his birthday, and Ringo did bring up and mention John, and, it, and that today's his birthday. Mm-hmm. And that was nice that, you know, they did pay tribute to John, didn't they? Obviously. It was, uh, they, well, in some ways. In like, some ways they did, but he, but yeah, I mean. And they played the song, the very, the very last song they played was, well, from John and Yoko. And Ringo... You know, he did mention that today was John's birthday. Yeah, as I just mentioned, yeah. That's... And that was, uh, you know, he just kind of mentioned it in passing. He didn't make a big deal out of it. He was just like, you know, well, today's John's birthday, you know. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, okay, well, you know. I because, kinda... well, obviously, he would know that the audience would know it's John's birthday. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure as though. Um, and uh, something that I forget what else I was going to mention, but... Uh, but yeah, this was really cool that the fact that we got to see Ringo on stage and the fact that it was on the day of John Lennon's birthday. Yeah, all right. So with all that being said, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this vlog. And we're on our way home. We're both tired, aren't we? Pretty tired. Yep. And it was a great experience to see a legend, like legends on stage. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog of seeing Ringo Starr and all the other legendary musicians. And on the day of John Lennon's birthday, and, you know, still, as of this recording, happy birthday to John Lennon. And any last words? Peace. Peace, yeah. Well, with all that being said, thank you very much for watching. Again, you know, we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. More vlogs are on the way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward. And we'll see you guys in the next video slash vlog. Take care. And, of course... Do it with me. Peace. Peace.